Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves and welcome to another half hour of getting yourself away from the news, everything bad that's going on uh, and enjoying this shave. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, let's just uh, try and forget about the things and relax, enjoy it, have some fun, we'll have a good shave. Let's do it. Right, the uh, products I'm using today, a bit of a mash of everything, a mix up of this, that, stuff I haven't used for a while, uh, stuff that maybe if you've subscribed recently you haven't seen me use before, uh, so I'm going to talk about things like that and um, there's, I don't think there's anything new here that I haven't used before, I'm not sure. Um, right, first of all let me show you the razor, so the razor comes in this box, nice silver plated chrome plated thing uh, and there is the razor in there this is a single edge razor I'm just knocking everything over <laughs> this is a single edge razor there it is there this is a a gem razor uh, single edge what you do is you flip the top up like that the blade goes in there there you go look gem Brooklyn New York made in USA uh, the blade sits in these little lugs at the front there uh, and then you snap it down like that yeah here it's here this is a this was probably made in the I think the 40s it was patented in 1912 so they're, they're kind of known as a gem 1912 you get ever ready similar sort of thing like an art deco handle this handle actually screws off and uh, if you'll be able to see that in there if the camera will focus it says PATD 1912 or 1915 or 1915 it says or is it 1912 <laughs> let me see if that will uh, focus yeah it's 1912 I'm looking at it backwards <laughs> that's uh, in, in the camera the camera screen here yeah so 1912 that's when it was patented so I'll just uh, there's the handle there I'll just screw this back on some people see these razors and think, oh my goodness, that looks like a, a death tool. <laughs> right, let me show you the blade. Uh, here's the blade here. A little gem. It has one use on it. Uh, it has a little cardboard sleeve. It says stainless. People call these blades, let me just take this uh, protective cardboard off. Just slide it off like that. There's the blade there. Yeah, people call these uh, paint scraper blades. The blades that you use for scraping paint off your window, stuff like that. Uh, they're very similar, but these ones are coated. Uh, they're called gem, I think these are called PTFE blades, so you can't use the ones for scraping paint off the window, the industrial style blades. Uh, these are specifically made for shaving. So what you do is flip the top like that, and the blade sits in here like that you can see that it just sits on these little tabs at the front here at each corner and then you push the lid down and that's it and there's the blade there so a lot of people say wow that's a lot of blade exposure and uh, it looks a lot but it's quite mild yeah so there it's there that's all loaded up ready to go Beautiful piece of kit. It looks kind of weird. Some people think, what on earth is that? How are you going to shave with that? But yeah, we will. We will shave with it. Right, let me show you the brush. Uh, the original Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic brush. There it is there, with the tuxedo style knot. Uh, I'm not sure if you can still get this actually. I'll need to check. If there is, as usual, links will be provided to everything. Yeah, but this is a great brush. Good backbone in this knot. Not too stiff, but... Um, yeah, there is a good amount. The shaving cream I'm going to use. Yes, a cream. I'm not sure if I've used this on video. Uh, L'Occitane or L'Occitane Cade. There it is there. Comes in this big tube like that. Um, yeah, nice cream. Yeah, I've had this for a while. I don't, I don't think I've used it on camera. I'm going to be bowl lathering in the plastic flash board and bowl. Flash... Uh, sent this up to me, I think he got it in a supermarket somewhere in Wales somewhere in Wales, 
Lucas is a big place. Wherever he stays, he got it. Uh, yeah, so it's plastic. So it has nice little ridges in there, and little bumps and stuff like that. I don't know why that's coming across on camera. So that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to start the shave with the ice tube pre-shave. Uh, so let's get that going. From PAA. I always turn this the wrong way. We've got this coming up now. Yeah, so it has a little lid on it. You just take off like that. I'll put that there. Wet my face. Just wet the bristles. I've got something really exciting to show you at the. Uh, I'll show you at the end of the first pass. In between the first pass and the second pass. I'm so proud of myself. What can it be? What can it be? I'll show you. Right, so what we do with this is just put a little bit of this on. This is a mentholated. Right, I think that's enough. Yeah, I can just feel the uh, menthol fumes already. Just take what's off there. Wet my hand a little bit. Yeah, I think there's a there's a lather booster in this as well, so but it's really slick. Yeah, I've told you all about that razor now. But if there's um, some some people out there will be uh, way more <laughs> knowledge about, about this uh, razor than, than I am. They'll be able to tell you all about it. Um, I think it was patented in 1912, but I think this one is from the 30s or 40s. 1930s or 40s, I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Right, let's take some of this Cade shaving cream. Let's see how much we could squeeze into this bowl. I'll squeeze it from that, actually. I'll squeeze it from the end of the tube. really thick. Yeah, a bit like you, Kerry. Really thick. That was uncalled for. That was uncalled for. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, there's a... <laughs> there's an imaginary friend that stands just here. <laughs> He's in here, but he stands here. Right, there's, there's the cream there, look. So I'll just squish that into the bowl. Squish. Not squash, squish. Yeah, the scent on this is, Cade is, um, I think it's called Prickly Pear Juniper, or Prickly Juniper, or not Prickly Pear, it's uh, Prickly Juniper. So, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice, like a fresh, woodsy, yeah, it's nice, I like it. Right, wet the brush. I think this is going to be a long shave. <laughs> Right, I'll just flick that once and then we'll just go straight into the screen. Yeah, I think you can still get this uh, shaving cream from L'Occitan or L'Occitan or L'Occitan or L'Occitan or whatever it's called, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, the, the French shaving shop. Yeah, really nice. Really nice, just a nice, um, pleasant scent. It smells a bit soapy. There's a, a little bit woodsy. I'll just put a touch more water in there. Right, that will do. I think, let's uh, bring that to the face, look at that. Nice shine on that. say that when I was a boy. And she put a, 
new clothes on me or, or freshly just washed and ironed and pressed and stuff and she'd, she'd put them on and then you'd go out and play and then you'd come back in for you'd come back in for your tea your mum would shout on you Kevin, that's your tea your tea was your dinner some people call it Scotland, it's called tea uh, and then you'd come in and you'd be playing football or running about with your mates and your clothes would be really dirty and your mother would say they're just clean on and you just put them on look at the mess of them and you'd be like I don't care just give me the give me the mince and potatoes As we call it in Scotland, mince and tatties. Mm. Like, I think you guys in the States call it ground beef. But that was a, a staple in the <laughs> Scotland when you were growing up. Mince and mash, mashed potatoes. Oh, beautiful. When I was a boy. That and sausages. <laughs> That's what I grew up on. Yeah, full of additives. You probably want it. Why I'm uh, a bit in the head, you know. Well, look. Did you hear that ladder hit the floor there? Look at this. Great. Right, I'll put that back in the bowl. Let's get cleaned up here. Put some heat into this blade. Right, here we go. Uh, with a gem. Uh, gem. I'm just going to call it a gem 1912 vintage. Uh, Art Deco style razor. Right, so what to do? What you do with this is you kind of lay this bit flat uh, and just it just goes down like that. Yeah, it's not um, it's not really aggressive as such. But um, a lot of people call these, well not a lot of people, some people call them a, a straight razor on a stick. <laughs> but the feedback you get from, look at that, straight through. Yeah, the, the, the feedback, the audio feedback is something else. from the brush. Um, yeah, audible feedbacks really is something else. See, yeah, there's a ladder there, look, it goes through these little teeth. Yeah, I've not seen a lot of people use these recently. Uh, this one's in very good condition actually. The plating on that is really nice. Just a light touch again. Yeah, I've got um, I think I've got about three or four of these style razors. There's a, a never ready one as well. That's quite popular. They're not expensive. You can uh, pick them up on eBay. Or quite cheap. Rinse, rinse off easily. Yeah, the blades are sharp, but I don't know what's 
Once you've used this, this style razor a couple of times, it uh, kind of becomes intuitive. Of course, it is uh, difficult to get under the nose. So what I usually do is just go across, across the growth. Right, first pass done. Nice slickness there. Yeah, it feels good. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. And uh, well, before I come back, I'll show you the thing that I was quite proud of, excited about. Um, it's not much, but let me show you. I'll rinse this, I'll see you in a minute. So here's the thing I'm uh, quite proud of. Yeah, you know this is the Parasso Super Soaker. This isn't the original one, this is a new one. Look, it's empty. Those of you that follow me on Instagram will have seen this. I finished it! So I've got two of these now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so proud. That's only taken me about three years to finish this, this uh, jar. And I've got, <laughs> I've got two, two Parasso Red pre-shaves now that I need to use. So um, there we go. Right, let's come back for the second pass. I finished it! <laughs> Get me finished the shaving product! Right. Back for the second pass. <laughs> yeah, quite proud there, wasn't he? Uh, wasn't he? Talking like I'm in the third person. Yeah, this isn't the, uh, the slickest cream in the world or anything like that, but it's good. It's a nice scent. And it does the job. Yeah, it's probably the scent I like the most about it. Easy to lather as well. Right. Back to this uh, gem single edge razor across the growth. It was my. Um, birthday a few days ago start of October and uh, it was really weird because um, we have restrictions here in Scotland at the moment uh, and you can't no one can visit another household. So it was just, uh, it was just myself, Mrs. Kevy, uh, and Riley the dog, <laughs> and that was it. Um, my sisters, a couple of my sisters turned up here with uh, some gifts, but of course they couldn't come in the house, so I had to just stand at the front door or in the garden, but the weather here at the moment is not, it's uh, turning really cold. It, just, it was just weird, it was like, oh thank you, I, I couldn't give them a hug, I couldn't... It was just weird, <laughs> it just felt weird, really weird. But then, I suppose it's the same for everyone. So, there you go. Oh look, a couple of little weepers there. Yeah, it's the same for everyone the world over. It's just that when I think back to last year, to my um, 50th birthday, yeah, I know, I'm 51 now. I know, I know, I know, I don't look it. Thanks very much. I appreciate your kind thoughts. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, when I think back to my 50th, and I had like, um, I must have had about 40, 50 people in this house. Just like relatives and family and this is Kevy's family and, and then you just think it was just um, to go from that last year to <laughs> no one could come and visit. It was just weird.
This, uh, yeah, there's one way for them. This uh, razor. Listen to that. Right, listen. I think it's because there's a. It's so loud because when you're cutting, there's this that kind of chamber in here. It's making it really. sound bigger. Right, second pass done. That feels amazing. Right, let me run some combat for the third pass. Here we go. Rinsed off. Yeah, there's a. I can feel a little bit of a stinging down here. Just, I think I've caught a little. There's a little weeper there. It feels a little hot, but that's okay. So I'll just be careful. But um, back to this brush. This soap. Yeah, I think you can get the. Uh, I think you can get this in a hard puck. I've got a sample someplace. Up the stairs. In the den. Shave den. Where's your shave den? Is it just in the bathroom, in the cupboard, or do you have... <laughs> do you have soaps <laughs> in every cupboard, in every house? Uh, in every house, every cupboard, in every room? So you just kind of almost hold it flat with this bit here on your skin. Maybe just a just a tiny little bit, but you'll feel it, you'll feel it when you uh, once you adjust it, you'll feel it cutting. so often it's just good fun to to use like a little weepers there. every day. What's that about? What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, right, we'll use the, uh, we'll get some pickups and we'll use the yellow.
just to see how much um, feedback it gives you. I tell you what, that's an excellent shave. There's always use the usual bits down here. Moustache feels good, that feels good. Yeah, and just being careful with this little bit down here because it feels like um, there's maybe a tiny little bit of a uh, uh, razor burn. It just feels up. You can actually feel it. It feels a little bit raw. So I'm not going to go over it too much. But um, if you're new to this way of shaving, you'll get to know. You'll get to know these little things as you. The more the more shave you have more different razors you use, or if you use the same razor, you'll get to know um, how your skin feels, how your face feels. Yeah, look, you can see it there, there's a couple of little dots here. So if you suffer any discomfort, just, just kind of stop. Don't do what most of us do and just keep going over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's see how that feels. Yeah, that feels amazing. <laughs> really good. Right, Alum. This is going down. I'll use this up soon. Right, nothing here. Nothing here. Tiny bit there with a little dot. A little bit down here, I think. Yeah, yeah, that bit there was really. That was quite stingy. A tiny little bit there. Nothing on the cheeks here. Right, that feels good. Right, what I'm going to do is left in here. I'll leave this on for a couple of minutes then I'll rinse it off and then I'll have a face wash, rinse that off with hot water, cold water, clean up the gear out, I'll come back for the post shave. Very minimal post shave but um, I'll see you then in a, a minute or two. I finished the product. I finished the product, the wet shaving product. I finished the product. I hate you. Great shave, really nice. Right, aftershave, uh, skin bracer. I've decanted this into a glass bottle and this used to have, if you can see that there, Frank's hot sauce. <laughs> um, yeah, look, there's little chilies on there. Frank's hot sauce with a skin bracer, good stuff. Uh, yeah, I just like the restrictor on that. I'm always looking for bottles and stuff like that I can use. <laughs> Is that just me or does the other guys do that too? <laughs> ah, yeah, good little bit of sting, nothing much, but... Oh, that's a beautiful scent. It doesn't really go with the cream, but who cares? It's nice, it's... Uh, yeah, this is an evening shave, so as you can tell with the towel up here. Um, so I've got a light there, a light there, a light there. <laughs> and they'd, they'd reflect in the glass and it it wouldn't be nice for uh, looking at the kind of distract so that's the reason for that towel up there everybody always says well who have you got in the shower you got something like a dead body behind <laughs> right and I'm going to finish it off with boots freshwood aftershave balm about halfway through this Oh dear. 
That's way too much, put some of that back in there. That's enough. Yeah, I think I've had that bam for about <laughs> two or three years as well. Just halfway through, but I'll tell, I'll tell you, it's really good stuff for the price. The price of the Boots Freshwood Bam. I think you can pick this up in Boots for a couple of pounds, two or three pounds. Three, four quid. Something like that. Tell you what, that's a good shave. Good, good shave. Right, I'll just put the lid back on that. There we go. What do you think? Doesn't look too bad, does it? Feels great. Right, let me show you what we've used. The eraser was the vintage gem uh, single edge razor. It's not going to focus. But let me just uh, put that like that, and I'll if I do if I do that. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. So here is here. Nice razor. Uh, you flip this up, and there's the blade in there. Yeah, there's the blade. Push that back down and that's ready to go. If I just put a little spot on the, onto the, um, I can see a spot there. <laughs> Some of that water's just went on the lens. Let me just wipe this. Is that better? Okay. <laughs> so uh, there's the razor there. Yeah, nice little razor, single edge. They're not expensive to pick up. Probably not fashionable at the moment, so. Um, yeah, but I like it. I like using stuff like this. All good stuff. Uh, the brush was the Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic Original brush with the tuxedo style knot. I don't know if it's, it is a tuxedo or not, but um, it's nice, good backbone. The cream was L'Occitane Cade. Nice scent, easy to lather. Um, not the slickest cream in the world, but it done the job. It's a really nice scent. It's, um, it's rich and creamy. It's good, it's good. It's not the best, but it's good, it's good. I like it, I like it, I like it mostly for the scent. It's just a nice, pleasant scent with, uh, what did I say, it was prickly juniper. Yeah, but it doesn't, it doesn't feel prickly. Unless you kind of get that bit there, Oh, Yeah, so that's the cream. We bowl lathered in the flash boredom. Bowl, plastic bowl, very good. Oh, started the shave, I keep forgetting about this. Great stuff, PAA. Uh, ice tube, epic pre-shave soap. There it is there. That's in focus. No, it's not gonna go. <laughs> um, yeah, good stuff. Uh, three passes, pickups, then we use the Allen block. A couple of dots down here, there's one just there. Uh, and there was one here, but sorted that out. Uh, the aftershave was skin bracer in the Franks, hot sauce. <laughs> but, but that works. I like it. And finished it off with Boots Fresh Wood Aftershave Balm. Uh, and also the Paraso Super Soaker. P R O R A S O Super Soaker. Yeah, finished it off. Not today, but recently. Uh, and that's the shave. Let me show you the box that the razor comes in. This uh, vintage box. It's a bit beat up, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, it's a kind of brown velvet lining, but it keeps the razor neat, so there you go. Right, that's all for me for today. Thank you very much. Uh, have yourself some great, great shaves, and please, please stay safe. Um, everyone that watched today, I want you all back for the next shave. Uh, don't go messing about and doing anything crazy. Right, okay, I'll uh, see you in the next shave, the next video. Will it be a shave? Yeah, did you think it frozen there? <laughs> uh, will it be a shave? Yes, it will be a shave, probably. And <laughs> some people are like, I oh, just get off, will ya? I hate you. Thank you. Uh, right, okay, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourselves, please. And uh, yeah, stay safe. See ya.